guys you want here and this is the all new Mercedes AMG E63S here in Estate and you can see the key fob, the AMG key fob and we have our falter bar crest on the back side of the key fob so check out this beautiful, so this is the Zinio Brilliant Blue Magno which is a matte blue paint as you can see this is just uh, magnificent, we have little sparkles even in the matte paint so this is really really great we don't have the night package and I think this suits the car really well because the chrome really pops nicely with the blue that's my opinion, I also saw this on the GLE metallic brilliant blue so let me know what you think about this combination and here in estate form so this is a fantastic car with a lot of capabilities so uh, for the first time we have here this beautiful paint on the E-Class E-Class family on the 53 you can have it on the coupe and cabriolet on the 63 you can have it on the sedan and here on the estate but you can also order it uh, like a special order then you can have it also on other cars like 53 sedan so that's not a problem so this is V8 model here the most powerful engine variant here for the E-Class the 63S so this produces 612 horsepower and you can see the name of the person which handcrafted this engine and this is one man one engine here at Falterbach the home of the AMG as you can see peaceful day and this car is really brutal in the race mode and peaceful in the comfort mode so the acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour happens only in 3.5 seconds top speed is 290 km per hour or 180 miles per hour so this car is so brutal this engine can also be tuned to more power in the GT uh, 63S 4-door coupe so if you prefer that you can buy that car and they um, decided at AMG that they will keep the power the same because they wanted to differentiate the lineup and keep the power exclusive for the GT 4-door but I think my opinion this is plenty of power so yeah you won't be slow with this car definitely Okay, so the differentiation between this and the E53 we can see immediately the new grille so this is the new MG specific grille on the 53 we have this border here like a black border but here on the 63 we have full grille which is a which is larger these vertical louvers and you can see also Mercedes-Benz badge camera for the or system radars new headlights which are more slim now and we can see two dots means E-Class we saw three dots on the first teaser image of the S-Class so probably C-Class will have a one dot and we can see the daylight LED stripe I think this looks really great because for me it looks much more aggressive now the grill is now turning around 180 degrees so it's more white on the bottom so it's like a A shape instead of the typical V shape which was before the design language now this looks more white thanks to this grille being um, inverted being turned around so I think to me and also this 
D-line running stripes, they are like a, they have like a focused uh, look to them. <laughs> so yeah, to me it looks really, I don't know. Some people say this is less aggressive, I don't really understand. Um, how is this less aggressive? For me this is more aggressive. And you can see also the jet wing design here. So the car is magnificent. Jet wing design here. We have also a chrome lip with night package, you would have it in black. And you can also have it in carbon fiber with carbon fiber package. Also the mirror caps and also at the rear the part around the exhaust and also the side steels can be in the carbon. So to me this is very elegant spec. Apart from the design, you can see that the car has now much wider wheel arches than for example the E53. So the 53 and 63, 63 is wider at each wheel, uh, 27 millimeters. So that's a little bit more than one inch. So uh, visually this car immediately, you know that this is a 63, at least I know it. If I look at it and I think you will no too because yeah it's really much larger optically so grill is also larger so i think this is a great looking 63s car also with the performance seats we have a cross bone design for the wheels in silver here with ceramic brakes and you can see also these louvers here vents for the cooling of the engine so really magnificent New front fascia, it looks more sharp to me, more aggressive from the side you can see too. It's like more straight than before. And we have also multi-beams, multi-beam LED headlights. So you can see everything great during night. So overall I think this is a great proposition with V8 engine, V8 by turbo formatic plus, unlike the GLE. This has the transmission which it had before. Also, the startup is different. Here you can see the typical startup sound, and the GLE just starts. It's the, the new sound with the EQ starter, ISG starter, integrated starter generator. So, here we can see the design changes. So, apart from the 53, the 63 have different design of the bonnet here, so it's rounded around the bumper as you can see around the front fascia so I like this design a little bit more than the 53 with the bonnet it's like I don't know like more pretty I guess so yeah very very nice bonnet so that's also a difference which many people don't really see at first glance so really really great so these are the ceramic brakes also for the non S variant you can have the MG Dynamic Plus package which will give you the race mode, drift mode, larger brakes, six piston, red calipers, these are the steel brakes with the MG Dynamic Plus package and also you will have the Dynamica steering wheel with uh, yellow stitching. Here we have the strongest possible braking force and these are the carbon ceramic brace, brakes with bronze details as you can see here and brake disc these are six piston brake calipers you can see sparkles inside of the wheels engraved mg logo these are michelin pallet sport 4s tires so 265 35 20 inch wheels and we can check out the rear wheels as well 295 30 20. So this window trim really accentuates the look of this estate and I think this looks really great and you have added capabilities for a family and it uh, breathability for daily driving. I think this is a really, really great proposition. If you don't really want like a SUV, you can still have a lot of space here. So we can check this boot in a second. So here we can see the E63S on the right side, Mercedes in the middle and the AMG on the left side. It's connected with the chrome stripe here and we have exhaust. These are new design exhaust tips so you can see 3D shaping on them and also AMG logo is here on the inside and also this part above the exhaust. Before this part was wrapped under the pipes, now it's above the pipe so that's also difference. The diffuser is the same, 
So the new tail lamps have now different design, but same shape. So I think this car is so, so good. And with the facelift, it's perfect. Also, the exhaust pipes are now larger, apart from the design change. So we can also check here the boot. As always, here is the cover, as all, all these cars. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna remove it, but the boot is the same, has the same capacity as before. You can have a tow hook here, and you can close it here with a button, automatic boot. As always, also the cover here is moving simultaneously with the, with the boot. So you can see the water from the revving the engine. And you have also these aero parts here, as you can see. Overall, fantastic design. In my opinion, you have a panoramic roof as well. And carbon ceramic brakes at the rear as well. You can also have, as I said, carbon fiber mirror caps here. And also the side still would be from carbon fiber. And also the front lip. And the part which was uh, chrome at the rear, I can show you. That can be also in the carbon fiber, this one with the carbon fiber package. All in all, fantastic vehicle for uh, family. You have more space. If you don't need more space, the wheelbase is the same as the sedan. You can buy a sedan and you will be fine. But if you need more space for like uh, family stuff, then uh, this is a good option. You will have the same fun, believe me. So this is a V8 model here. So the most powerful V8 setup here, the 63S. So this produces 612 horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque, and it's mated to 9-speed MCT gearbox or so multi-clutch transmission. And this transmission is fantastic, it's also in the GT4 door. And yeah, that's basically it. This engine can be also tuned to more horsepower, as we can see with the GT4 door, but they wanted to keep the model lineup as it is, and the power exclusive to the GT4 door. So, but yeah, I think this is still plenty of uh, power and uh, yeah, with the new generation, I think we will see increase in the power. But yeah, even this, with this power being the same, still, as you can, as you could hear, the sound is still fantastic, even with the OPF filter and uh, yeah, acceleration from zero to 100 kilometers and 3.5 seconds. So yeah, I think this is a lot of power. And also for the Autobahn, this car can be super, super powerful and not many cars will overtake you, believe me. So that's a fantastic car for uh, Germany, but also for the whole world as well. You can see the tire pressures here and the top speed is 290 km per hour or 180 miles per hour. And you should use 98 or more. You have, of course, the race mode and the drift mode so you can disconnect disconnect the front axle and then you can have fun only with the real drive the formatic plus has a differential at the rear it's all wheel drive system which can vary how much power it sends to each wheel and also to front and rear so it's a very very capable system you have race start which is a launch control and basically you have everything what you really need for this car so this is really, really incredible. For a family, it's a really wonderful proposition, I think. If you don't really like SUVs, you don't want to sit high, this is a great car because you have so much space for a family, but still you sit lower, like in a sedan. So that's why uh, we like in Europe these cars. Have different wheels. The car uh, can have 19 and 20 inch wheels. And I think with the ceramic brakes, the 20 inch are much better. To me, it, this is definitely more aggressive. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? I think, yeah, it's more sharp, more focused look. And as I said, the grille is now completely turned around, more white. So I think, yeah, if you don't need space, as I said, you can go and buy the sedan. It will be a better car for you. If you need space, buy Estate, it's that simple.